Hello, so welcome back to the next episode. So in this episode, we're going to carry on with the navigation, uh, get that to the right size, uh, make it capitalized and all of that good stuff. We also need to slice out some images. So I'm just going to zoom in on the Photoshop design here. And if we come up to the ribbons here, now we need to slice these out individually because we're going to be adding these into the actual design as well. And looking at that, I'm going to change one thing quickly while I'm here. I'm going to click on the Twitter and I'm going to bring it down in size so it's similar to the one to the Facebook one. So it looks uh, a bit better. So that's a bit better now. So we're going to slice these out. So the first thing we're going to do, if we open up our layers and I'm just going to click on the, the ribbon itself and that will jump to the particular layer. So it's jumped to this group called Twitter. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to, I need to grab the two circles on the back of it as well. So I think it's going to be this one and this one. So I'm going to make sure that's selected, the, the group itself, and hold down the control key and select those two shapes. And I'm going to right click and duplicate. I'm going to duplicate this out to a brand new document. And as you can see, there it is. It's duplicated it out over here. So if I zoom in. As you can see, there it is, and we've got the little half shapes on the back. So we're going to do the usual trick, so trim, and we're just going to trim off all of the pixels on the top, the left, the bottom, and the right. So we're just left with this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do File, and Save for Web and Devices. And I'm going to make sure it's PNG 24, and all I'm going to do is click on Save. And then I'm just going to add that into the Images folder. So I think this one was Twitter, yep. So all I'm going to do is call this um, Twitter ribbon, like that, and click on Save. And then that's that one sorted. So I'm going to remove that. We don't need that anymore. And then I'm going to click on the Facebook one, which will then jump to the Facebook group here. So I'm going to make sure that's selected, and I'm going to select the other two circles, so this one and this one. Same principle, right-click, duplicate layers into a new document. And if we just zoom in on that, again, it's the same thing. I'm going to do image, and I'm going to trim off all the excess uh, transparent pixels like that, and file, save for web and devices, click on save, and I'm going to call this Facebook ribbon, and click save. And we can close out of that. So that's that bit sorted. So what we can do, we can just zoom out for that for now and we can head on over to Dreamweaver. So back in Dreamweaver, we need to just do a few things to the menu. So we're going to do this. We're going to go into the code. Now we need to float this whole menu to the left hand side because we're going to be adding in the ribbons on the right hand side, which we're going to float those to the right. So in here, in the CSS, we're going to create some general uh, classes. So I'm going to do dot for a class, and I'm going to do FL, which stands for float left. And I'm just going to add in that into the style. So float left. I'm going to copy that and paste it below. And I'm going to change it from FL to FR for float right, and just change it here to float right. So that's that bit in, in position. So on the OL here, we're just going to go class FL. So that one I'll float that to the left. So as you can see, that's broken the layout slightly. So what we need to do is give the OL uh, an actual width because we haven't done that yet in the CSS. So if we go back into the CSS and on the OL here, so here we're going to say width. And we'll give it, say, 350 pixels, which should be enough. And go back into the index. As you can see, it's all back to how it was. So with that in place, we now need to uh, add in the section for the two ribbons. So in the index, just below the actual uh, menu system itself, I'm going to create another div. And I'm going to give this an ID of social links. And then close that off, create the comment as usual, so social links. So in here, create a bit of space. So we're going to want to add the actual images in here. So we're going to do 
img for image, src, which means source, so where is the actual image, so we're going to browse for it. So over here's the dialog box, so we're going to go back a folder, we're going to go into the images, and we're going to pick up the Facebook icon. We're going to add on something called alt, which is for alternate text, so if the image doesn't display, you'll see that text, and also when you hover over that image, it will tell you something about it. So I'm going to type in here Facebook link and I'm also going to add the title tag because uh, from what I understand of it, Alt only works in IE and title works in Chrome, Firefox and all the other decent browsers out there. So Facebook link and then we're just going to close that off. So if we look at that, as you can see that's added in the, um, the ribbon. Now we want to add in the other one as well. So I'm going to literally copy what we've just created to save a bit of time, paste that in below, and I'm going to replace Facebook ribbon with Twitter ribbon. And again, just replace these with the word Twitter. So I'll just copy that straight out, and I'm going to paste it on top of this one. So now we should have two ribbons in position. So the easiest way to move the ribbons over to the right hand side is to use one of the classes we created earlier which was float right. So if we go into the source code, so on the social links here we want to add a class. Now that class will be fr for float right. Now if we go to the design you can see that's now moved over. Now our next job is to move that down so it hits the bottom of the navigation div here. So we're going to use padding top inside of the div, which will then move the images down in position. So if we look at here, we want to be able to target the social links div. So we're going to copy the actual ID. And if we head on over to the style sheet, and then just below the, uh, the OL, we're going to create an ID of social links. And in here, we're just going to say padding on the top of about 20 pixels like that. So if we just save that and if we go back to the design into design view you can now see that it's been, they've been moved down 20 pixels as you can see from these lines and if you look at that that's pretty much perfect. So what we're going to do is we open this up in a web browser. So as you can see here from the design we've now got the social links over here on the right hand side and they're now just touching the, the baseline of the navigation and if I bring this in you can see that they react to the size of the browser window so if we just minimize this and go back into the code so if we look here we created a div with a class of center container to keep everything in the header in the middle now normally I would reuse this uh, center container for the main section but if you remember in the, in the actual design we created a radial background inside of the main content now we need to create a separate style that will do the same thing, keep it in the center, but we need to add the image as a background image. So that's why we can't reuse the one up here. Um, so if we do that now, so what we'll do, we'll create the markup for it first. So all I'm going to do is grab the center container here, all the way down to the closing center container, and literally just copy that out. Come below the closing header container, and paste in what we've just copied and I'm going to remove the contents because we don't want to have another menu system and social links like that and then all I'm going to do here is just call this main center container and obviously bear in mind again I've used the camel case so I'm just going to copy this in fact I'm just going to change the comment here so main center container and if we go to the design view not much to change because we need to style it now so I'm going to double click on this and copy and then into the CSS. So I'm just going to put a dot for a class and paste in the main center container. And then I'm also going to grab another comment, paste that here, and I'm going to call this main styles. So if I just create a bit of space. So the styles for this class are going to be the following. So the width. It's going to be 960 pixels and we're going to use the margin trick to put it in the middle of the actual page. So margin is zero auto. And that's about all we really need to do for that. So if we just go to the index and design view, you can see the div is there. But because we haven't specified a height, you can't really see anything. So what I'll do, 
just in here I'm going to press shift and return which adds in some page breaks and if we go to the design you can see here's our new center container which is called main center container so the next stage is to actually go into Photoshop and grab out that radial gradient and add it to the background of this div so if we do that now so in Photoshop the easiest way to do this if we go to the layers panel and I'm going to go to the move tools by pressing V on the keyboard and if I click on the radial gradient here it goes down to the, the actual layer so if I click on that you can see it turns it off now all I'm going to do is hold down the alt key and click on the eye symbol next to it and you can see everything disappears apart from the radial gradient now it probably doesn't look like it's there but obviously, obviously it's transparent so all we're going to do we're going to right click and duplicate layer and then just send that out to a new document and then we're just going to do image and trim off any excess uh, transparent pixels so that's the actual size of the gradient so I'm going to do file save for web and I'm going to hit save so I'm going to save that into the images folder and I'm going to call this main BG click on save so that's that portion sorted out so if we go back to Dreamweaver so if we go into the CSS now we want to add it onto this main center container so I'm going to add a background image and I'm going to browse for that so the image will be in here and this is the image so main BG and then I'm going to say background repeat I don't want it to repeat so no repeat so if we just save that and go into the index as you can see you can just about see it. if I add a few more page breaks we'll be able to see the actual gradient like that so if I go to design as you can see there it is so we want to position it in a certain way so I want to put it in the middle at the very bottom of this div so if we go into the CSS and what I'm going to do this style is getting quite long so I'm just going to format it slightly differently and just put it on separate lines like this so it's just a bit easier to read so like I said we want to position it inside uh, of that div so I'm going to add in a background position and we're going to say we want it in the center at the bottom of the actual div and close that off and now if we go to the index so as you can see the the actual radial gradient has shifted over into the middle and it's at the bottom of the actual div itself so when we start to add in more content that will then start to move down the page so now that we've got all that in place what I'm going to do is leave the video here and then in the upcoming videos we'll start to add in the main header and then we'll start to add in the uh, the smaller headings underneath and then after that the next stage will be to add in all of the images as well so as usual guys thanks for watching please leave any comments below feel free to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video